So what's better, Steve? Kef LS50, uh, Zoo Dirty Weekend, or how about a little Mackie? <laughs> wow. Three really, really, really different speakers. So here we go. The Kef LS50, the passive version, not the powered version, is currently on sale for $12.99. The Zoo Dirty Weekend, which is not always available, but will be available starting for a limited time on April 2nd, is $9.99 a pair. And then this new uh, MagnaPan that I'm reviewing called the LRS, the Little Ribbon Speaker. It looks exactly like um, a MagnaPan MMG or an MMGI. Internally, it's a different speaker. So, what's better, Steve? Well, it depends on you. It depends on what you are going to do with this speaker. Now, the CAF is... Did I say the, the, the price of the Maggie? Maggie's $650 a pair. The CAF is um, a small speaker, and I find it sounds best in smaller rooms, small to sort of mid-sized rooms. And it's better with acoustic music, you know, acoustic jazz thing. It's a, it's a really sweet sounding speaker. Uh, it's a very refined sounding speaker, and uh, Everybody loves it. I think it's one of John Atkinson from Stirfiles, one of his favorite speakers. Uh, it was my speaker of the year when I reviewed it, which I think was way back in 2012. But it's not a rock speaker. Uh, you know, it, it needs nice electronics to sound really good. Um, I like it a lot. Now, the Zoo is very different. It is much more of a rock speaker. It's very dynamic. The LS50 is not dynamic. It's a small speaker. It sounds like a small speaker in terms of its scale and size and presence. The Zoo is not a very big speaker. It's like a 36 or 37 inch tall tower speaker. But it's got a bigger, it's got a 10 inch full range driver. It's extremely dynamic. It can uh, play well with low power tube amplifiers, uh, low powered uh, vintage receivers. Uh, it's 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 pretty adaptable in terms of electronics, um, and as I said, it can rock out, especially if you pair it with a sub. It's like whoa, this is this is some serious speaker there for nine ninety nine a pair. Now this uh, new MagnaPan, the LRS, well, it's the least expensive at six fifty, but it's the most expensive in terms of well, not most, but it it not, it likes power and it likes quality. So the affordable amp I team with it in this review that's coming up soon, maybe two or three weeks from now, um, will be that, I, that the amp that I use is the Shit Vidar, which is puts 200 watts into four ohms, which is what the, the little Maggies are. It's an extremely transparent speaker, really fast sounding speaker. Um, bass, people don't, don't know Maggies, think Maggies don't make bass. It makes bass. It's just not the oomphy kind of kick you in your gut kind of bass, but it definitely goes down. Uh, but it's the most open. It's got a great mid-range, not a really nice top. It's a great speaker. But you don't cram this speaker, into the Maggie, into a small room. Uh, it needs space to breathe, to come alive. You, you have to keep this guy at least three feet from the wall behind it. Um, don't put it in the corners. Um, and it's fussy. It, it, it lets you know where it wants to be in the room and when it isn't where it wants to be, it's not going to sound as nearly as good as it can be. So it's the least expensive, but it asks more of you than the other two speakers, in my opinion. Um, I will have a full review of the LRS coming up soon. Uh, so as always, th this, is, this is not an easy thing to, to nail down when someone says, what is the best speaker? Depends on you, depends on your application. You know, what kind of music do you like? How big is your room? How close can the speakers be to the wall? How close can you be to the speakers? And actually, there's another thing. The LS50 is a, is, is a nice near field speaker. You get closer to it, the better it sounds. That's not true with the Zoo or the Maggie's. Um, no, you get close to the, uh, you know, mid field, let's say four or five feet to the, to the LS50, the better it's gonna be. 
move them away from the wall again, as it's true with pretty much all speakers, move the LS50s away from the wall, get closer to the speakers, and yeah, that, and they're, they're doing their best right there. And also, team them with really good electronics to hear what they can do. So, uh, I think we've done it. My name is Steve Guttenberg. This is very much the Audiophiliac Daily Show, which has a habit, a regular habit, of coming up seven days a week daily, so please check back often. Uh, share these videos, like them, and please subscribe. When you subscribe, hit that little notification bell so you get notified every time there's a new episode. And if you really, really like this thing and you've gotten this far in the video, check out my Patreon page, which can be found at p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash audiophiliac. And I will thank you very much in advance for doing that.